Dirty dialysis centers across Arizona. The News for Tucson investigators reviewing state data showing concerning violations against dialysis centers right here in southern Arizona. Of course, Nylander has more in tonight's News for Tucson investigation. Dialysis is already a stressful time for the patient who's at an increased risk of getting severely ill. Data from the Arizona Department of Health Services shows a significant number of violations against centers statewide, leaving some kidney patients worried. Across Arizona, there are 130 outpatient dialysis centers to serve the more than 10,000 patients facing kidney failure. The News 4 Tucson investigators reviewed data from the Arizona Department of Health Services showing since 2019, 75% of those centers faced violations that could impact patient safety. There's a lot of people that go there and try to save their lives that need it. But at the same time, these facilities are endangering their lives, and I'm glad I got out of there when I did. This Tucson resident doesn't want us using his identity. He recently required regular dialysis before luckily getting a kidney transplant. The Tucson center where he received his dialysis was given a violation in June last year for dried blood, grime, and dust being found on almost all of its dialysis stations. It's ridiculous. My health was at risk doing dialysis there, and I didn't even know it. And I actually find some of the data there uh, quite disturbing. Paul Conway represents the American Association of Kidney Patients. He says Arizona stands out for the number of violations against kidney centers. You see what I would call repeat offenders, uh, facilities that have had issues of safety for dialysis patients dating well before the pandemic. And so when you have a case like that, what you have to ask yourself is how strong is the regulatory and penalty process in terms of its integrity. Two multi-billion dollar companies make up more than 85 percent of the state's outpatient dialysis centers, DaVita Kidney Care and Fresenius Medical Care. In southern Arizona, we found nine DaVita centers and five Fresenius centers with violations. The companies have been able to negotiate down some of their penalties to a small fraction of what state inspectors recommended. In February last year, DaVita's East Tucson Center got a $193,000 fine for five repeat offenses going back to 2015 related to issues with cleaning equipment. They negotiated the fine down to just $20,000. A Fresenius location in Phoenix, after a series of repeat offenses, faced a $219,000 fine. The company got it down to $30,000. There's no reason for lawyers to try and bargain with bringing down the fines lower. Just pay what you have to or get shut down is how I feel about it. The News 4 Tucson investigators reached out to both companies for comment. DaVita did not respond. A spokesperson for Fresenius sent us a statement saying, quote, we are committed to providing the highest quality care to our patients living with kidney failure, supporting more than 5,000 patients at five dozen centers throughout Arizona. While our quality of standards often exceed the hundreds of state and federal requirements, we work hard to take corrective action when any issue is identified. For this man, thankful to be alive and off dialysis today, he hopes the companies will take the violation seriously and make any needed changes. There's no excuse as to why things aren't being done the way they should be done. The Arizona Department of Health Services sent us a statement saying when an investigation identifies violations of rules and regulations, the first priority is ensuring compliance. Repeat violations can result in fines and notices of intent to revoke a license. Fines are limited by state law to $500 per violation per day. Investigating for you, Cor Snylander, News 4 Tucson.